All right, so um, an update on the world's saddest seagrass aquarium, uh, now featuring almost zero seagrass. Um, mostly because of my shrimp invasion. Uh, they seem to eat almost anything in the tank. Um, I did manage to find some nice red macroalgae that uh, looks kind of cool, but they're slowly and surely eating that as well. Um, the water conditions aren't great at the moment. It's a bit cloudy, but the big difference you'll probably notice is it's now full of fish. Um, I got a small school of, I don't know, baby something or other, and two large what I guess are probably mullet. Um, and the whole idea behind them is they're going to eat all of the shrimp and they've only been in there for a couple of days but they seem to be doing a pretty good job. Uh, so I guess now all I have to do is harvest some more seagrass, replant it and hope I don't get another spike in uh, in, uh, in shrimp, yeah. So uh, it got pretty out of hand for a while there. Uh, but slowly and surely I'll bring it back in. Um, I think a few of them died off just for the fact that they ate all of the vegetation in there and then there was nothing left for them. Um, but these little guys seem to be doing all right. Um, I do feed the tank now because uh, they need something to eat. They're just down on flakes and I think the big guys probably pick off the smaller ones every so often but uh, you get that on the big jobs don't you. Um, other than that this tank is uh, been going on pretty well. I found these cool little um, kind of weird green brain looking algae thing. That's kind of cool. Uh, but the little terrorist shrimp uh, sort of making short work of this as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, time will tell whether it'll turn around. Um, probably by the next update I will have planted uh, a bit more seagrass and hopefully yeah it'll actually survive longer than a couple of weeks um so update number two is uh the stinky crab tank where i've had a constant high nitrate problem and uh yeah if you want to see what ass crab looks like this is ass crab sitting in there making my job difficult, living in the filter section, making all maintenance nearly impossible. And yeah, being a jerk, being a jerk. That's what he does. Um, so to combat the nitrates, what I thought was, why not just turn his entire tank into a refugium? And uh, yeah, seeing as he lives in the filter section and you can never see him anyway, Filling the entire tank up with seaweed uh, didn't seem like such a bad idea, and um, I have brought the nitrates under control now. Uh, funnily enough, I did add a uh, couple of, probably a school of similar size to the seagrass tank. Um, I added the school of them to this tank as well. A very small fish, and it's a large crab, and he's kind of slow, so I figured they'd be safe in there, but only two nights after having added the fish, I can't find a single one. There might, I think there's one just back there. Oh look, there's one. So it appears asshole crab, being the asshole he is, has come down at night and eaten every single one of my fish in a single night. Um, so, well, I got the nitrates under control, but our crab's just going to be an arsehole, so I guess I could just constantly supply him with fresh baby fish, but uh, it's much better for the nitrates than putting dead bait in there. Um, well, anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next update, which, I don't know, maybe in two or three weeks, where I'm actually going to get some growth on my seagrass and... I don't know, he seems to be eating down this uh, algae in here as well, because there was a lot more. It's basically just some brown algae and a bit of cheeto in the bottom. Anyway, uh, well, see you on the next one.